Today I wanted to go over disabling Windows Firewall properly. It's so important you don't just disable the service. It's a, a very newbie mistake. It causes a lot of issues down the road when you go to install other Microsoft products. Uh, Office particularly doesn't like Windows Firewall being disabled when you go in and disable the service. So this way bypasses all of the safeguards basically Windows Firewall puts in. It doesn't give you a bunch of nag screens when you open up programs and it gives you the ability to just go about your day never having to worry about Windows Firewall. Uh, obviously you're already behind your router or another firewall. There's really no point in having a separate software firewall on your computer and hence why most people like to get around Windows Firewall. So here is a quick tip on how to do that and we'll just jump right in it. So from your screen here we're just going to open up the run command and type wf.msc. You can always remember that Windows Firewall WF. From here you get immediately in the advanced firewall options and we're going to create a new inbound rule. You'll see outbound connections are already allowed by default so we just go here new rule custom rule all programs, all protocols, all ports, all IP addresses, we're going to allow the connection. And we are going to apply it to domain, private, and public. And we're going to call this allow all. And now we have successfully created a rule in Windows Firewall that basically bypasses it without actually disabling it. So it's effectively not doing anything but at the same time, Windows thinks the firewall is on and operational, therefore you don't get any error messages. I know I've run into funky things in like Windows Excel or Microsoft Outlook saying, uh, spitting up all kinds of different errors just because Windows Firewall service was disabled and it wasn't allowing the program to operate functionally. It's dumb, but there it is. But this way, you get by that, you don't have to worry about it at all.